from Cuba, Felix Savon. And the referee from Sweden, Mr. Larson. Japan was brought here when a Korean heavyweight dropped out at the last minute. This can either be a glorious learning experience for him, a tremendous upset if he lands some punches like that. He didn't get credit for it. Right hand across the top. Or what's most likely and predicted here is an easier than normal victory for Savon. You saw how Devaro Williamson fires the right hand. That's Savon's bread and butter too. He's very inexperienced to be in here with Felix Savon. We hope it'll be a learning experience for him and not something to discourage him from by. Well, he was totally wide-eyed this morning. He said, I know who I'm going against. I want this so badly. But uh, in a way, you almost wish that he didn't know how good the ball <laughs> Well, now that he knows, maybe he'll take it as a positive regardless. The big guy, Malcolm Tan. He's not giving up. He's trying. Yep. He's been the aggressor early on. And he's moving well enough that Savone hasn't really found an opportunity. Lower scores quite frequently the case in heavyweight bout. For all the same reasons that heavyweights tend to land fewer punches in professional fights. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent shot by Malcolm Zan. He's got the lead. The judges for this bout are from Germany, Mr. Mika. From Korea, Mr. Back. From Tunisia, Mr. Buna. Malcolm. From Russia, Mr. You're doing fine, okay? You're doing fine. Listen, you're keeping your hands down too low. You got to get this up here where I want it. You understand what I'm saying? Okay? You need to jam. Even if it's just a fake jab, just get it up there in front, okay? Don't let him get up. You understand what I'm saying? Okay? One, two, one, two, one, two, three, okay? You've got to keep your hands up. There you go. Young Mr. Tan puts one on old Mr. Savone. And it snapped Savone's head back so much that even though it was a looping punch, the judges had to score it. Reach, Malcolm, Stop. round two. Well, there's talk in the sport that at age 30, Savone is slipping a little bit. And of course, you have to wonder about his motivation at this stage of his career after two Olympic golds and six world championships. Savone says he fights for the continued glorification of the Castro regime in Cuba for the Revolution Society. I've been asked about turning professional here in the United States, and his standard answer is, I don't want to do that. I wouldn't have the privilege of fighting for my country. And now Savone gets a point and ties it up at one of these. <laughs> what is the referee doing here? <laughs> Watching, and from a distance, too. <laughs> Someplace. You got a point there. I was waiting for somebody to get knocked down and the other guy not get 
credit for a point. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen before the night was over. A little left hook there for Savon. Landed to give him the lead at 2-1. to one. Savon still hasn't landed one of his big right hands. He's reaching over the top to try to find one. so excited that he's wearing himself out. Good body shot. Body shot. Yep. <laughs> Alcum Tan still in the fight against the most celebrated fighter in amateur boxing, Felix Slavone. Who is the second out? Round three. Credit for another point on a left hand. The coach you heard speaking to Malcolm Tan is Air Force coach Asmer Alaniz. American team doing its best to allow the fighters to have their personal coaches, the ones with whom they're most familiar, in the corner with them, like Kenny Kroon was there for Larry Mosley, like Alaniz is now there for the Air Force fighter Malcolm Tan. Every time Tan punches, Devon moves backwards. He never steps in when his opponent is punching. Though. Tan should have got a point just a few seconds ago. He landed a good right hand. Didn't get any credit for it. <laughs> Although, of course, as we've already seen tonight, it could become a factor in the tie break if the score winds up tied. That's how Larry Mosley won his fight. Credit for a, a punch there. Now leads 5 1 as that right hand is scored. And he's destroyed the kid's body now. That's what he probably should have did earlier if you know a guy's young and inexperienced to go to his body. And uh, a standing eight count would be in order here because Malcolm Tan is hurt. Well, I think and he's hurt from a Savone right hand. I just think he's out of breath, not in great condition, hyperventilating. American corner throws in the towel. Omar Alaniz throws the towel into the center of the ring. And he has seen enough of Malcolm Tan taking right hands to Felix Savone. I think that's very, very smart by the coach to save the young guy. He had to do one. He got a chance to experience what it's like to be in that one with all time the time of amateur boxing. Now it's time for him to come on while he's safe and go home and learn. And, and not see his confidence completely destroyed by that's, that's right. That's right. That's very smart. And frankly, I don't think he was that hurt. I, no. just, I just think that he was exhausted from the excitement of being in there and running around and, and and time moving faster and not knowing what to do that's what why the fight was ended i didn't think he was seriously hurt no he wasn't seriously hurt thank god he wasn't <laughs> but he wasn't fighting back effectively anymore either and he was taking right hands i agree take another look at how it happened here Savone landing the left and then missing with the right. And Larry, I got to give Savone credit. He was landing some good body shots there, too. Yeah, he did at the end. And that right cross landed on the jaw, and that's when Tan started stumbling around the ring a little bit. Foul number 60. Decision is by retirement. One minute, 20 seconds of the third round. The winner... From Cuba, in the blue corner, Felix Savon. So Felix Savon moves into another Goodwill Games final. But three Americans won their bouts tonight. Al Mitchell, the coach, trainer, manager. Hey.